So Voxel 51 is a machine learning company that makes tools to enable the production of machine learning systems. Say, for example, things that can detect vehicles on the road or different logos in advertising footage. Uh, we, we facilitate um, the creation of that technology by our users. So video is like a sequence of individual image frames. Uh, each image alone, circa say 1985, has more than 300,000 little samples in it. Those are called pixels, right? And so if you want to understand the content, say find teddy bears or, you know, or cats versus dogs or things like that, you need say thousands of examples of different images of each, you know, or maybe cat breeds or dog breeds, right? So that would mean I need tens of thousands of images and each of those images has hundreds of thousands or now millions of little samples in them. Uh, the problem is just enormous. Even for computers of today, it's enormous. And so working with that is a computational burden that requires not only sort of depth of you know, knowledge when it comes to programming capabilities, but also a pragmatism in what systems you build uh, that really makes this, this whole field of image and video computing, or more broadly called computer vision, both interesting for, for us and, and, uh, and challenging. With 51, it's very lightweight. You don't need to um, write any more custom code. It will just attach to your representation how you're, 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 you, you represent your data and immediately expose very quick and effective ways of finding mistakes, finding uniqueness among your samples, ranking them, sorting them, doing, it's basically your, your, your data Swiss army knife. So I think working in computer vision, especially from the tools side of it, really requires uh, a, a mix of, of, of persona, right? So we, we have individuals who themselves are interested in, in really top-notch software development, uh, but also have a pension for the visual arts. Um, or we have other folks who are interested in building the state-of-the-art uh, software application, right? the real, real front-end developer, but doing front-end development with large data set, large, you know, large-scale data set behind it is a big challenge, right? So you know, it re really requires that really mix of um, adeptness toward dealing with hard, challenging computational problems, but also a, a, an interest in uh, the aesthetic and the visual si side of the, of, the, of the equation. Ann Arbor is an interesting place because it is home to the University of Michigan, as, as you know, uh, which has uh, more than 45,000 students coming through, uh, heavy investment in uh, machine learning, computational science, computer vision, and so on. So um, we thought it was a great place uh, to, to, to found the company because of the connection with the university, uh, great intellectual uh, minds coming out. But also we've noticed that um, there's a growing startup community in Ann Arbor uh, and it just it resonated with our needs uh, and, our, and the potential. Uh, and so we, we think Ann Arbor is uh, you know, well located, you know, southern Michigan, it's close to the east coast and, it, you know, a uh, flight away from the west coast. Um, but I think the intellectual uh, potential as well as uh, the commercialization capacity here being close to Detroit and Motor City uh, is really what led us to start and want to grow the company here.